Hello and welcome to another Silverpunk video where I'm going to show you how we go about selecting the 3D models which we then 3D print and then turn into silver pieces of art. So I'm going to first off go to thingiverse.com. Now Thingiverse is an amazing repository of 3D models that the whole community uploads and makes available for downloading and 3D printing. This is a brilliant resource and anyone who's got a 3D printer should be getting used to using Thingiverse if they haven't seen it already. The search engine in Thingiverse is good, it's not great, but it does really get you to some fantastic models if you're prepared to put in the effort and energy um, using the tool. The other thing I'd point out that all of the models available in Thingiverse irrespective of their licensing type are available free of charge so anything you find on this site you don't have to pay for you don't have to worry about additional costs but you just need to be careful of the licensing type about how you're going to then use that in your 3d printing or certainly if you're going to use it for any commercial um, commercial uses so Without further ado, I am going to pit, stick, stick in with the uh, Silver Punk brand. I'm going to search up for a skull. Right, now this fella looks quite interesting. And yeah, this is a really nice model. Something that would be seriously considered at Silver Punk HQ. We definitely have a look at this guy to see whether we could uh, print him out and, and use him. Um, thing that holds me back right away is some of these funny recesses so they would need to at the very least be packed out with sand because that that's going to make for a very difficult silver casting otherwise but that wouldn't rule him out right from the uh from the get-go the the thing that's probably more worrying to me from a 3d printing and then taking that print through to being casted is the fact that this is in three separate um, three separate elements it's unlikely that we would print three separate elements today and then cast them um, as three separate silver elements that would then get joined together so let's assume that i'd print these three elements out individually glue them together and then cast technically feasible is definitely something we could do however where i'm a little bit concerned about or concerned with this model is that it's it's actually quite complicated there's quite a lot to it uh, and we are looking to print out um items that are three four five centimeters tall and i suspect that if i was to do that with this particular skull that we'd end up with um, something that's quite fiddly to uh, join up and get looking proper and might be a whole load of waste of uh, time and effort and energy to get this set up. So in this instance, as, as, as nice as this skull looks as a finished artifact, I don't think it's suitable for us today for 3D printing and then silver casting. Tomorrow, we may give it a, a, another look but today I'm going to give this one a pass. So I'm going to head back to the Thingiverse front page and I have been doing some prior research and one model that we do like the look of is called the Low Poly School. Uh, low Polygon or Low Poly is a um, it's quite a popular uh, thing in, in, in 3D printing. Um, in that the models are reduced down to um, a, a series of smaller flat planes so you don't get the fidelity of a you know, fully smooth rounded surface instead you get these um, interesting faces that comes out really well the flat surfaces come out really well uh, with the um, silver casting so this is uh, again something that we're quite interested in looking at further the recesses behind the teeth and potentially under the jaw they'd need to be um, sand packed out a little bit 
um, but that's not beyond the, the realms of possibility. I think this one is a really suitable candidate for, for 3D printing. Again, it looks like we could make it small enough um, and you might lose some of the, uh, the finer details on these flat faces, especially if it was two centimeters tall, but three, four centimeters tall, you're still going to get some of that definition. And I think it's gonna come out really nice in silver. Now we've selected that model, um, and we could just go ahead and download it and crack on. But the other thing I'd like to look at is the licensing type. So do we need to be concerned about um, attributing the, um, the final piece back to the original model? Um, do we need to do, uh, do we need to be concerned because actually this is not for commercial use? Um, and whilst that might be something that we'd consider using for a, um, a a video it might not be some it wouldn't be something that we'd look to use for a final um release product because we don't want to be in contra we don't want to contravene the terms of the license agreement we want to um maintain the um you know, ethical standards and so yeah we're not going to um create a final product that's based on something that we're not licensed to actually use in this instance, we've got the Creative Commons. Um, it's in the public domain. So this is available. So we don't need to do any kind of attribution. Um, this can be used, reused, modified, distributed, and remixed, and all sorts of different. You can do whatever you want with this model. Um, and yeah, you, you're you not breaking any licensing laws. You're not breaking um, any agreements. So this is perfect for our uses so i know now that i've got a model that looks great um, i know that it's on a licensing agreement that works for us i guess the the risk to uh, silverpunk is that if we do something that's really successful and really popular then somebody else can copy it but you know right now learning the 3d printing right the way through to um, being um, you know really talented on the silver casting that they aren't skills that many people hold all of so yeah, we're reasonably comfortable that we can use a public domain piece of uh, of art effectively uh, and utilize it for our own ends um safe in the knowledge that that it's actually quite there's some quite high barriers to entry for other people to follow us down this pathway so yeah we're we're quite keen on on this we'll have a look at it we'll um probably try some prototypes in the first instance um but that's you know, something to watch down the line so if this has been of use to you if you've liked this video please uh, like and subscribe to our channel we're really keen to hear any comments or feedback that you may have about the video as well um especially if you disagree with us um it'd be lovely to hear um, what you do instead and, and how you utilize 3D printing if you do, uh, especially if you're um, casting in semi-precious or precious metals. That's really in, of interest to us. So like, subscribe, and let us know what you think. That'd be really great. See you soon.